This is our 36 foot floating home sunshine. Join us as we go sailing. Hello folks, here it is, uh, Wednesday afternoon. This is the Seychelles Yacht Club. Nice place. to tie up and what they have added since my last visit is that dock going out there you see that boat on a floating uh, on a float there in a slip that's about where I was anchored with the Phoenix before it's a pretty nice day we've had uh, two or three days of raininess and cloudiness which seems to have cleared up southeast breeze has come back Sun is shining Pretty nice day so far. Over this way, there's a fuel dock, gasoline and diesel there. And on the left end of that building, there is a Chinese food takeaway place. It's pretty reasonable. And on the right end is a restaurant bar associated with that building there. Haven't eaten from that restaurant, but we've gotten a couple of meals from the Chinese takeaway place. And out there, the cars in the background moving are more or less on the main highway that goes up and down the island. Over that way is towards the downtown area of Victoria. And around the other way is towards the port area. They've added a tremendous amount of uh, container handling facilities here. I'm not sure what that's all about. Why, of all places, they're using shippers are using uh, the Seychelles as a place to load and unload, transfer cargo, but it seems to keep the place busy. Seychelles has changed a bit. It's still a pretty nice place to look at, but. Uh, they seem to be following the European or the U.S. model where everything is getting outrageously expensive. Uh, I went to the little uh, beauty salon here in a, the building uh, connected to the Yacht Club and they wanted 300 ruby for a haircut. That's the equivalent of about $25 U.S. I said, no thanks, I'll do it myself. Anyway, the Yacht Club is great management is treats us quite well and for a nominal sum of 300 rupee a week once again about 25 US dollars we get unlimited usage of the Wi-Fi which is pretty fast the showers which have all the water and a clothes washing machine which uh, Didi has taken advantage of to the tune of maybe 10 or 12 loads of laundry because like I said we went months without uh, any kind of facility for washing clothes. So she was putting in one or two loads every day for the first week. And uh, it took her seven or eight days to get caught up. Uh, wash it there, take it out to the boat, hang it on the line, dry out. Anyway, that's a brief glimpse of this particular area of the Seychelles. We just went and did a huge grocery run. Uh, there's a big package store, I guess you'd call it, STC, Seychelles Trading Company. It's a huge hyper store. And uh, we just dumped a bunch of money over there, provisioning the boat for the next two months. The only thing really, well, I have two things to get. Diesel lubricating oil, which I found a place today that's uh, up 
that away a ways. I'm going to have to find out which bus goes up that way to get there to get the oil. And I'm still looking for my secondary diesel fuel filters. I have primaries, the ones that go on the engine. But I only have one secondary left, and I'd like to get two more because I like to change that. Anyway, that's it for now. That's a brief look at uh, the island of Mahe, M-A-H-E, where a Victoria is located in the Seychelles. This is my venerable old folding bicycle. I had one on Phoenix that uh, I sailed around the world with and kept it and put it on sunshine and got to American Samoa where it was stolen by some kid. Never did recover it. I really missed it because my messed up feet and a bicycle are very handy for getting around. Anyway, when I went to the Philippines, I happened to see in a tire shop uh, a bunch of these used Japanese bicycles. And of course, it was late Friday afternoon, and none of the buses wanted to uh, put this into their storage bin or allow it to come inside the bus with me or throw it on the roof. So I had to pedal it all the way back to Carmen a distance of 22 miles. It was quite a ride. It got dark, so I'm riding down the highway in the dark on my new bicycle. Anyway, I dusted it off and brought it out here in the Seychelles. Took it on a bit of a ride yesterday, a bit of a journey looking for fuel filters and lubricating oil. And after sitting on my duff for the last three months, I gotta say, getting on the bicycle and pedaling around, like to want to kill me. My leg bustle, muscles are just not used to pedaling. And uh, yeah, the only way I'm going to get that back is to get out every day and ride or get on, get out there and get walking again, which of course for me is rather difficult. But it'll get folded up again and stashed away on the boat when we leave because it's uh, too valuable to leave behind. Hello again everyone, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon local time on the 21st of June 2023, the first day of the sign of cancer for those of you who are interested. You're looking out almost to the southeast, nice breeze blowing. That where that gray boat is out there in the yellow float is the entrance to the small boat harbor. They got some wind mills out there generating electricity. If you go out of that entrance and go to the right, it goes towards uh, Eden Island, and there's a marina over there and a haul out facility. The marina is a bit too expensive for my tastes. And uh, we're on a mooring here. The mooring seem okay. The water's quite protected here. So I'm not too concerned about the quality of the mooring. Over in that direction, although you can't really see it from here, is a big container handling facility. And a port. It's also where a ferry boat comes in there that goes out to the other islands. And uh, all these buildings along here have something to do with the port. I can't tell you exactly what they are. See, the hillsides are dotted with houses. It's a big fancy place way up there on top of that hill. Over this way, a number of local fishing boats. On the other side, of that's kind of a peninsula there, is another big uh, ship, container ship facility. And here's the island again. This is a little island in 
inside the harbor area. And you can't see it from here, but more or less in that direction over there is the main part of the old town of Victoria. And looking around again, over that way, that red roofed building, is the Yacht Club. So it's a pretty easy run over there, a couple hundred meters in the dinghy. And of course, Duty took advantage of the nice weather today to do another load of laundry. This is recent stuff though. This is not uh, left over from the initial big purge of laundry. We've been getting uh, rain the last couple days, which is nice. It's flushed the decks off, so they're pretty clean, relatively white. And uh, all things considered, it's not a bad little harbor. The main difference is uh, that pier that the Yacht Club built out. Uh, it has a bunch of power boats kind of uh, in slips over there. Big difference with the Seychelles compared to the last time I was here. It's quite expensive. You're kind of following the European model. Eight or nine dollars for a taxi ride of a kilometer. Twenty-five dollars for a haircut. Uh, we did a big grocery run today, provisioning. A couple of empty boxes there from things that we got. At the big box, the hypermarket. The STC, Seychelles Trading Company, has a big store. Full of all kinds of goodies, because they are servicing ships purses as well, primarily cargo ships, but I guess every once in a while they actually get uh, cruise liners come through here, and from what I've read about it, they're trying to uh, attract super yachts over there in the yacht club, because of course super yachts means super money, which unfortunately I suspect if they're successful is going to make things even worse here price-wise because the whole situation will become more and more spoiled thinking that all us foreigners are just filthy with money and uh, we won't mind parting with it to line their pockets anyway see it's a pretty nice day the sun's slowly climbing or sliding down towards the horizon and, uh, yeah, going in the Yacht Club and doing the weekly fee for the unlimited internet is a pretty good deal. I've uh, got a SIM. You know, in the Philippines, you can get a phone SIM for like a dollar or less. Here, it was eight and a half dollars. Oh, and they threw in like two megabytes or something of calling, which uh, the phone system, because it's back in the background downloading crap, gobbled it up in about a day and a half. So I put some more load on the phone, but I just leave it off. I only use it if I'm going to call somebody and I don't have access to the internet. Internet is also quite expensive. They do have a plan if you have a, uh, a Wi-Fi unit, which I was lent one, the mere total of uh, 800 a rupee, that's about $62. For a month, you can get 10 gigabytes a day. Well, I'm not going to be here for a month, and 10 gigabytes a day seemed a bit excessive compared to my normal usage, especially when I have free Wi-Fi over there. That's where I've done all my uploading of videos. Anyway, I'm going to close this one out. The next uh, video will probably be of us leaving. Uh, it's Wednesday. I'm thinking maybe we'll check out on Friday for an expected departure of Sunday or Monday. If we leave on Sunday, that'll be more or less uh, two weeks and one day of being here. Next stop, my yacht, 800 miles south. 
west again. So about a one week trip. Be a bit of a challenge because the course is about 2:30 and the southwest winds are 135. So that's a beam reach all the way, or maybe slightly close haul. Uh, well, close reaching, giving up to uh, some to leeway with this boat and no mainsail. I figure I'm not going to switch from the tri sail because the wind should be stronger like it is now. 15 to 20 knots. So that's it for now. Bye folks.